So I'm going to do a new one, which, yeah, we'll do some rapid fire because there's some stuff uh, that's just happening this week and it'd be great to get your opinion. So, okay, we were at YC Demo Day yesterday. Um, it feels like, I'll just start off with the same. If, I think everyone in the Valley uh, has massive respect for YC. I actually think they're underrated. Like the network uh, of people and founders, like, you know, I'm, I'm meeting founders who have gone through twice and already had a good outcome and going through yep. again. And uh, it just seems like it's it's on a snowball trajectory. Um, just curious your impressions of you know, yesterday. Well, I, I agree. Like the batch of 75 companies that presented yesterday was almost surely the best batch as a whole that's ever existed at YC. Um, the consistency, the quality was incredible. It's actually very difficult as an investor because of the quality to actually discriminate which one, I can't pay attention to all 75 companies, which one, 10, five, 20, five, 10, 20, should I pay attention to because they're all so tightly bashed in terms of interest, um, in terms of interest to me. Um, so that that's actually a, a negative problem that I've got to figure out how to process. Um, but um, I actually uh, uh, would agree with you. I think YC is underrated, not overrated. And in fact, the impact of YC will continue to be greater as far as I can tell right now. I think they've become a magnet for an incredible diversity of talented people doing a wide variety of startups from quantum, quantum computing, to genome sequencing, to you know, inventing custom T-shirts off of an iPhone, printing, you know, creating custom T-shirts that fit 20% better than a tailor off of an iPhone app, all across the map, um, helping solve things like autism, and just amazing. As an investor who's gone to a lot of these, how do you see it now? Is like the the batches are getting bigger, and there there's more variance in the maturity of some of these companies. So that you know, if you see a company present and you know they've got six months of data, and you go, oh, I'd like to dig into that, versus they, they're just about to launch, and they haven't launched. How do, you, how do you, as a discerning investor, sort of separate those two? I don't know if it's that different than what we do every day. Like I'd say my normal day here at Coastal Ventures, I see people who haven't launched yet, I see people who've just launched, I see people who are raising a Series A and have six months of data, I see people who are raising a Series B and have two years of data, and occasionally see people who have years of data and are you know, raising a Series C. So it's just like a normal day. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe it's a little bit more schizophrenic when you see it every six, every two or three minutes, yeah. but shuffling, but it's not that different than what we do normally. Mm -hmm. Maybe it feels that way to an angel investor who's not spending every day, you know, five to seven days a week, 10 to 12 meetings right. a, a day. So maybe it feels a little bit more natural to me than it would if I was doing this only, you know, once in a while on an episodic ad hoc basis as an angel investor normally does.